guys, it's Jenny Jen the Plant Friend coming to you with another planty video. And of course, it is shop care. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Anywho, I um, have several things to get done today. Thought I'd bring you guys along with me because what? Why not? Okay. So yeah, so we've got some things that we need to pot up. Some things we've been rooting in water that are going bonkers and... Yeah, I think they both have rooted. Anywho, so yeah, so we have uh, a couple things. And then um, I'm looking at my Hoya Cardiophyllum. And this is one of the things that we're going to propagate today. So, um, so yeah. So if this is your first time joining me, welcome to my channel. I am Jenny Jen, the plant friend um, slash pink lady. Because um, I always wear pink because I can. Um, and yeah, so thank you for clicking on the video. If you're a returning subscriber, love you guys. Love you guys, love you guys. So anyway, yeah, let's get started because I'm really in a silly mood today. And that's a good thing. So I, I propagated, well, I didn't really propagate. Well, I did, I guess. But my Hoya, I never remember the name of this one. The fuzzy leaf hoya, I can't remember. But anyway, um, she's rooted nicely. So I wanna put her in moss so I can list her on the site. But these are the only two leaves that I that I propagated. Um, she's kinda small and I really wanted her to grow out some. But yeah, so we are going to put her in moss today. And um, well, we have several things. We have my Bertone. So we're going to propagate her. And uh, actually, I made a comment in my last video, and I stand corrected. I am never a sh uh, too proud to say I'm wrong about something. So I made a comment that people don't really want unrooted cuttings. Apparently, that's not true. I've gotten <laughs> several comments of, of recent that... Oh, I like unrooted cutting. I don't want to wait. So, okay. So if I said that and that's not true, you know, charge it to my head, not my heart. That's all. So we're going to, um, so some of the plants that I, um, propagated the last time, the Waedii, Variegata, the, uh, let me see what that was. I think it was a peduncle, but it's no longer. Um, the... Hoya Jennifer, all of those guys that I propagated in my last video are available if you would like an unrooted cutting. If you are one that want me to root the Hoyas before you, then that this does not apply, okay? Because I don't want to just keep beating that dead horse. Well, that's not nice. I don't want to keep going, going over that over and over again. It's, it just is what it is. You can, If you go on my Etsy shop, you can um, leave me a message, communicate with me somehow. Uh, I'll take an unrooted cutting, whatever, whatever, and we'll go from there. We'll take it from there. How's that? Yeah, so what's going on? It's Monday again. Long weekend. Got some things done. Had an appointment this morning, went out, and also had some plants to ship out. So took care of that. And then came back and communicated with a couple people that are going to drop by to pick up plants and so things are going quite well so this is the i think it's hoya uh acuta how about i look and tell you what this plant is hold on one second okay guys so this is my hoya kadata and this is what i propagated the last time i only propagated two leaves she's i want to let her grow out a little bit but i'm after i went in to get her to make sure the name of the plant I got to looking at her and I kind of feel like we might be able to do something. So let's just see. Um, originally, she was not on the list to be chopped today, but let's just see what we can do. Um, as you know, with Hoyas, when you propagate them, they just go bonkers for putting out more new growth. So, um, yeah, we're going to we're going to do that today. So I will tell you that the one that I'm listing on the site is rooted all the others will not be rooted because I'm just propagating them today. So I'll when I take the pictures to list them on the site, I'll say rooted. Number one is rooted. Number two is not. That kind of thing. So you guys will know. 
So we're going to propagate here. That's a two leafer, a one. I love this fuzzy leaf, splashy Hoya. Um, took a minute to get, get going. I mean, she was kind of slow, but once she started, and I did up pot her recently to Lucca. She was in, what was she in, soil, I think? Probably. But I've had her a year and a half now, and just not, not a really fast grower for me, but I still love her. Love her. Okay. So see, we've got a lot of vining going on here that's kind of intertwining and, and everything. And then eventually it will push out a leaf. But I think, I think because I really want to share this guy, I am just going to, let's see, I think we'll take that one because it really encourages the new growth. And so I don't mind these days chopping my Hoyas. Uh, I'm actually quite enjoying it. <laughs> um, so let's see about this one. And then after this, we're going to leave this guy and let her grow back out because I am taking off. I think those are two leaves, so I'm going to try to leave that. It's just a vine anyway. There's nothing on it, so no need to take that off. Um, she did bloom for me a couple times. She Oh, she has bloomed for me a couple times. And let's see, I have about four over there. So I'm thinking about this vine because I propagated here before I can see that. So maybe we'll propagate here and leave that. Yeah, that looks good. And then let's see what else. This is the vine that has the two tiny, tiny, tiny leaves on it. On it. So I'm gonna leave that. And then this one has one and well, we'll leave that. We didn't really get rid of a lot of the vining, um, the vines that I wanted to. All right, well, I think that's all we're gonna do. Again, she was not on the list today to be propped or chopped, but the Hoya Kadata rooted, one, only a two leaf rooted Hoya, and then I'll figure out what these are gonna be, but I will put them on the site today, I believe. Okay, so much for sticking to our agenda. Let's see. That. I think I just want to see. Whoa. And that. Oh, I just realized I cut off a, a, the one with the two, the new leaves coming in. Because I'm trying to do that. So yeah, we'll take pictures and, and put these on the site later. Uh, so, <laughs> okay, so let's get to the one that we were going to propagate. So that is the Hoya Cardiophylla. This guy, very, it, uh, I think the last time I said it reminded me of the Hoya Jennifer, but I definitely want to prop, propagate her with all of these vines and everything. Um, oh, that's a big chunk there. Uh, I'm just trying to get her taken down and then I can see where to cut. But I have a lot of things that have sort of spent off. Oh, that's a new leaf coming in there, so maybe we will propagate above that one. Well, it's not too bad. I mean, I figured because it was so thick and waxy that it was just going to spew a lot of sap, but actually that's not happening at all. Okay, and so look at that. So this one Okay. So with this it's a bunch there, so let's go above it. I hope me cut it by cutting the vines off. I hope 
it's going to encourage some growth because th those have been there for a minute and there's nothing on them so I had them wrapped around pretty good but so let's see so we have this all right now we got it now we got it so what I have is all of this is coming off of like one vine if you will so take out the trellis this uh, that's so funny because this was a mystery hoya that I got and only it was a single leaf which is this leaf at the bottom here oh I don't see that happen and so but yeah and then it didn't do anything for like six months it was just a single leaf for six months and then all of a sudden it just went crazy so yeah so here we go now that's a better view of what we have we have this whoa look at that and we need to get one trellis and so there oh yeah okay and then so, and then I'm gonna have to put this back let's see Okay. Well, we'll. Oh, that's a whole nother vine. So we'll figure out how we're going to put these together in a minute. We're going to keep moving. Okay guys, so the next one is my Hoya Comingia. Is this Comingiae? Hoya Comingiae. I was correct the mundo. Okay, and this guy, love her. But as you can see, I really should have prop this is one I should have propagated first a long time ago. But I mean, you know, she's just kind of wrapped around this trellis and doing her thing. So, you know, I didn't worry about it, but I'm ready now. Um that's a new little new little spin off so I'm not sure what the sap is gonna be like for her so let me get ready for that yeah I just want to be ready let's see Could probably stand up pop with this guy too oh I don't want to start undoing all of these vines but I probably need to I thought that was a pedunco it's not I was about to get excited this guy has never bloomed for me. Um, she grows like crazy, but she's never bloomed. Okay, so I can see like some of the vines are so thick, so I can see, but I, so we're just gonna start. That's quite a bit on the, on the big vine here that I'm looking at. I think I am just going to cut it where it's split. All right, well, I took quite a few cuttings off of this gal, so we're gonna we're gonna stop. For now and to see what we have 
I got her in September of 2021. Okay, so we have quite a few Hoya <laughs> Comingii. So we will get these guys separated and pot and potted up and I don't know, I mean do I put them on the site unrooted and ugh. Back to that, are we? Okay. Well, that's the Hoy. And then we have one more for today. I think doing four at a time is a good number um, to stop at and then work and then show you guys in the end what they, what I end up with. So we're going to, let me just move to the next one. Okay, so the next one is my Hoya... Pratissii. Look at this guy. So, what I want to do, I'm no rhyme or reason. I got to let me clean my shears. I am just going to cut across to where she's a full plant and not all the um, little strings dangling down, the little vines, little strings, little vines dangling down. I'm going to cut straight across and just give her a nice haircut and then see what we have once we separate everything so like here we go i hope I, I hope it's not going to be a lot of sap because i just hope it's not anyway let's just do it okay that's what i wanted to do with her i just wanted to just just go for it i didn't want to like you know figure out which vines to cut she's a she's a fuller pot now she she's rest over the oh she's dripping like crazy ah well it's okay we're just gonna let that happen you don't want it on us but so yeah so we'll get these guys separated and show you this in the end as well um because sap is going crazy okay Whoa, it's everywhere. Okay. So I can put it down here. That way I can, I'll clean the floor up in a minute. Because this is. Mm. So, like, what we'll do, that's a top. We're going to probably lose some of the bottom leaves to get to the roots. So, I would just, like, take them off like that. And. We'll just put them in this little cup and then we'll show you in the end. But we're going to just, that's what we're going to be doing here. Okay guys, so we have, these are the smaller Curtisii and these are the longer vines that have at least um, six to eight leaves on them. And so I'm gonna try to pot them up that way. Again, they are not rooted. So some of them will have 
I mean, because of the um, roots that runs alongside the advantageous roots, um, they'll root really fast um, and very easy to root Hoyas, of course, in water. Most of you guys know that. And so, yeah, so um, let me get these all potted up and then I will show you guys a picture in the end. Okay, guys, well, that concludes this video for today. Thank you so much for making it to the end. This propagation thing is really happening all the time with my plant care. I'm taking care of the other plants as well. But, so I ended up with about, ugh, so many Cortisia. I don't even know. I'm not even, I haven't even counted them. But, and actually what I have, the way that I have them in the cups is not how they're going to stay. Like, that's not like a cutting or anything. But I have some like this, and I have some that are shorter of the Cortisia. I have two, four, six, eight of the taller ones. And four of the shorter ones and then I ended up with two of the Hoya Kadadas um, again they're not gonna stay this way once they root then I might have like four of them I might put two uh, two to three leaves per per um, cutting and of the Cardiophylla I just put like a big cup with water and some prop drop in here and just you know maybe it'll be two to three leaves as well and then for the Comingii, which I haven't put water in them yet, but I have like four, oh, I was trying to lift that up. But I have four uh, this size cup and I'm still working on how I'm going to keep them in there if I'm gonna put the pods in there or whatever. But yeah, so that's what we have for today. Comingii, um, Cardiophylla, Cadata, and Cortisia. I did not know all of them started with C when I did that. I promise you I did. That was just the way it worked out. So anywho, I will list the plants. I've been forgetting to do that, but I will list the plants in the description that I'm focused on, or maybe even in the um, subject. I don't know. We'll see. But I'll, I'll try and remember to put them in there so that you guys can know in advance, and then you can kind of start DMing me and letting me know if you saw something you were interested in, that sort of thing, okay? So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. No, really, comment below. Um, check me out on Etsy. Check me out on Instagram. Just check me out. And I will what? See you in the next one. Thanks. Bye-bye.